Shalom, this is Rabbi Mark Angel at the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Thanks very much for checking in with us. Let me first wish you all a very happy and healthy new year. We invite you to visit our website, jewishideas.org. Our institute fosters an intellectually vibrant, compassionate, and inclusive Orthodox Judaism. We received a very interesting question from one of our viewers about the following thing. Is it permissible to shop around for a rabbi? In other words, uh, you have a certain question and you want to get a certain answer. So you look around to different rabbis and you keep asking until you get the right answer. Uh, the general uh, approach within halacha is to uh, shun that particular style. Namely, uh, we ask people not to go shopping for a rabbi, uh, looking, going from rabbi to rabbi until you find the right answer to your question. Why do we have that philosophy? Because if the goal of halacha is to help us serve God, which is what it is, in fact, then one should not be looking for shortcuts. One rather should be looking for truth. And when one searches for truth, one should try to find a rabbi or an authority that will help that person determine what is the true or the proper mode of behavior in a given circumstance. And therefore, to go from rabbi to rabbi is really to make a mockery of the entire goal of halacha. And it's simply a, a way of shortcutting the system, which really demands a strong, powerful relationship with God as mediated through our halachic process. That being said, it's important uh, to look at this also from another point of view. And we made a previous uh, YouTube program, which I invite you to visit again if you haven't visited it. And that is on uh, choosing an Orthodox rabbi. And the basic thing is this. When you go to a rabbi, are you looking for an authoritative answer to your question, which you will follow blindly, no matter what the answer is? Or are you looking uh, for a resource, someone who can guide you through the question, someone who can help clarify your own thinking, one who can bring knowledge based on his own knowledge of halakha that can help you clarify your own ideas so that you will make a proper choice? If you're looking in an authoritarian way for the rabbi to be the posaic, and you come and ask your question, then of course you're bound to, answer, to follow the dictates of that rabbi once he gives you that psaq. But my suggestion is that you should never go to a rabbi and ask for a psaq. Rather, you should recognize that the ultimate responsibility is your own. And what you should do is see your rabbi as a resource, as a halachic guide, as someone who's studied a lot and who has access to books and can consult with other great rabbis to try to find an answer that will be meaningful and proper for you in your situation. So really, I think people should use their own brains and use the rabbi and consult with the rabbi as one who can guide them and help them along in expanding their own viewpoints and expanding their own knowledge. The other part of this discussion is that when you ask a rabbi a question, the rabbi may give you an answer that isn't the answer that you would have liked. and it's important to mention that to the rabbi. Say, so, you know, my feeling is A, B, and C, and I think it should go this way or that way. Uh, it's perfectly proper, uh, if a person has a complicated question, to seek the authorities who might have the greatest expertise in that field. In other words, your local rabbi, God bless him, and God bless us, bless us, you should certainly consult with a local rabbi. But there are questions that may be beyond the expertise or experience of that local rabbi. And there are certain rabbis who are known experts in different fields, such as medical ethics or divorce, etc., etc. So it's perfectly proper uh, to f seek those rabbis who are specialists in their fields and ask guidance from them. This isn't considered shopping, going from person to person, but rather it is a way of ascertaining truth. I hope this has been helpful to you, and I wish you a wonderful Shana Tova and blessing to all of you. Shalom, shalom, and best wishes.